What's up everyone? Welcome. My name is MT Major and today we are playing Frontier Pilot Simulator. Now before I continue with this video, this video is sponsored by Razer Games SRO, which uh, they are the developers of this game. They, they got in touch with me and basically uh, told me that I might like this. So yeah, here we go. Uh, Frontier Pilot Simulator. Now the idea is, um, at least what I'm, what I'm seeing in... Um, in the description, it's kind of Euro Truck Simulator meets Elite Dangerous meets, uh, I mean here, Mars, Eve, and Surviving Mars, that's what it says. So it's, it's, it's supposed to be a game where you fly basically from point A to point B, um, hauling cargo around a new colonized planet with a lot of different features onto upgrading your ship and stuff. Alright, like so here we are in the game. You can see it has a very busy UI, very interesting UI, a lot of different things to take in notice. Now keep in mind it is a uh, alpha version so who knows what they might change in the future but as far as I'm concerned you can ignite your engines. Which it does make a cool sound. Right, pressing B and here we go. There we go. All right, so we're in the air right now. We're whoa, okay. You have to keep it up. There we go. We're in the air right now. We're just trying this game out. The uh, okay, first delivery from a spaceport. Stay focused. Your scarab is a powerful vehicle. So this is called the scarab. We have to fly to that place right over there. So the controls are a lot different than I expected it to be. Uh, they're interesting though. It's it's a fun it's a fun flyer. Can already say you really have to take notice with uh, gravity and everything it's a really interesting flyer it has some really good animations too I see oh here we can see how far we are from the ground and the wheels come down automatically and we will land like that all right well that's not hard it, it, it flies very well I must say it flies very good now let's see what we have to do have to press T uh, let's see. Alright, we can open the trading terminal by pressing return. Ugh. So I've been stuck for at least half an hour right now. Apparently you can drive your vehicle on the landing pad and you have to stand like this. It should turn green now. Or something. I, I mean... Basically, I was pressing A to open the market, but I couldn't, and I was like, or pressing enter, so I picked up my Xbox controller, hooked it up, and then I pressed A. It didn't work either way, although I must say, Xbox controller does work better. Oh, you see that, guys? So it's like Earth Truck Simulator. You have to, like, actually line it up. Yeah, there we go. God damn it. All right. Uh, <laughs> I've been waiting so long for this. All right, so we have to buy stuff. We have, how much money do we have? 2,155. So we have to buy stuff, right? Um, there we go. Oh, cool! It actually like loads it, loads it in or something. All right. Well, that's that's nice. Okay, so now the container has been secured. Close the shop. B. Right now we have to sell them somewhere else. So now we have to jump up. Oh, there we go. Now, flying with the controller is much easier, guys. So if you guys have a like little Xbox controller, fly with that or a Steam controller, whatever you want to use, uh, because uh, yeah, it flies so much better than the like. And usually I'm all about the keyboard, but this just flies so much better. All right, and the, and the flying is actually really, really have like really nice. It flies like uh, like a helicopter almost. Like uh, that's that's what it kind of. Whoa, I had a leg spike. All right, so here's where we have to be. Not very far, but ooh, ooh, I died once, by the way, back there in the half hour time that I took to basically figure out what I had to do. So am I the best pilot in the universe? Almost. So I know we can also like turn the, the oh, you have to keep using your thing. All right, you know what? Let's just put it back. There we go. And let's drive it like this and then we can drive backwards. And then, yeah, that's that's how it's done. There we go. So now we just sell this stuff. There we go. And um, colonists will be fed. And I don't know. What, what do we have to do now? 
do we have to, to pick up uh, new stuff here? Maybe? Oh, we got a lot of credits. Alright, we're loading in these batteries that they have right here. Oh, we can recharge our ship, which costs money. So, I, sh I think. Yeah, it costs like a little bit, I think. Not that much. Uh, so, now we have to pick up passengers. Oh, we have to pick up passengers. Alright, um, sure, we, I think we can do that with this thing in the back, right? And or else maybe we can just, like... Oh, it's right there! Oh! Oh! Whoa! Okay. <laughs> Woo! Alright, let's sell this thing again. Because apparently we don't need it. Now, you can imagine that if this ship ha uh, if this game has a lot more uh, ships to buy, a lot more interesting like looking ships and maybe a little of a UI overhaul it would be a really 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 awesome game it's it, I mean I must say it's a really fun game to play I really like it didn't expect that to be honest it's it's a really really cool game to play so let's ch w the camera is a little janky sometimes but I mean it's an alpha you know we got to we got to you know we got to we got to get it oh let's come on you can do it pick up Jane Adams so we I think this goes yeah okay so they they walk okay good cool man they have they have people Elite Dangerous doesn't have people like that you know just saying all right let's uh, let's load this up or not yet right pick up passengers 3.6 kilometers away deliver passenger pick up passenger Oh, the, oh, wait, we have to deliver two passengers two different, like, different ways. Alright, I think, I think moving passengers is so fun, because, you know, the, if you, if you crash, and flying in this game is not that easy, and I know, like, what, what makes flying in this game really, really interesting is that the moment I go through this, um, gla uh, gas cloud, like, shit can happen, you know what I mean? Like, there we go, we get, we get all these, like, whoa, right? <laughs> No, but it's, I'm serious, like, the higher you go, there are different temperatures, you can get, like, a storm, you can get all these things that, that can change your ship, uh, and, and the way it flies, and that's interesting, because then you have, like, all these different things that you have to take, uh, count in, so that's, that's cool. Alright, let's, let's try to land this bad boy right here. Hey, Mike, will you drop me off in Central Bice? Let's hear, right? Oh! Oh my god. Sorry, mate. There we go. Get out. Open the hatch. I'm g I'm not going to ride outside. Wait, did I pick someone else up now? Too? Alright. Surface drone contain. There's a lot of like it there there's like a little learning curve, but that doesn't matter. Again, it's a it's a um it's a alpha game you know there's a lot to learn there, there's a lot to change still and that makes it even more interesting to buy I would think I would say this is my place let's go to spaceport Ar Arslan 1 alright so basically it has a map too I what the flying fuck is that holy shit is that a gazer holy fucking shit holy holy fuck whoa whoa what's <laughs> What's happening? Holy shit, man. Alright. Now, there is a map. I don't know how to open it on the... Uh, I think you can hold... Is there any way that I can hold the... Oh, fuck. X, maybe? B, maybe? Oh, no. Oh, fuck no. Uh, how do I open the map on the controller? I don't know how to open the map on the controller. I know it's M, so I can just use my... Right? Alright, guess not. Now we can see all these things flying around. I honestly, is that airspeed? What the fuck? Did I click on something? Oh, there we go. Alright, if you press Y, you can see all the airflows, I guess. That's very interesting that, that, that the game has that. Has like different airflows and stuff. Oh, Spaceport Oslo, there we have to go. Okay, 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 let's fly there. So right now, I think I'm just going with the flow. I 
think I'm just like like uh, going with either with the flow or against oh I'm going against okay well I was basically just gliding I didn't even have to power up engines just gliding my way through all right this is a spaceport is that a giant cruiser that was hanging there we're gonna check that cruiser out after I drop off this idiot that wants to be here so we are just gonna turn it like this oh wait wait a second no you deliver people at different places right I think I have to deliver it there what do I have to deliver where do I deliver this person hmm. um, maybe on top I don't know maybe we have to deliver up here oh look guys it's a, it's a spaceship oh that's so cool Oh, awesome here you guys can see uh, some missions like new missions that are standing in line it's basically stuff that I have to move so you can just go here and they can load up the missions you want now the charge is extremely low you see that holy fuck let's oh no I picked you I, I did a mission oh god damn it no all right I'll do that mission and then we'll check out the hangar don't worry about it all right as you guys can see right now this thing is so heavy on my ship that my ship can barely move so it's like you have to take that in an Otis too apparently like it's gonna take a lot of charge and it's it's just so heavy I can't actually go up maybe I oh my god oh shit okay 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 can I drop it can I drop it can I oh no oh fuck okay this is a problem you know what let's 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 just go back to the landing pad let's let's sell it again let's fuck this mission and just upgrade our ship first because before we do stuff like this because apparently my ship can't handle this which oh god Duh. all right oh oh no whoa, whoa. I don't know what happened but we made that out oh the camera oh okay don't worry about it we're almost there Boink. And I would just go like this, and we go like that, and then we just do this, and then we just do this, and we just do crash landing. Okay. Fuck. Alright, so when you die, your pot gets moved and it gets dropped down, and apparently it goes to like a place where you'll be safe, and your insurance will get you a new ship just like you know you always get a sidewinder in every day right now here we can do some improvements they don't they don't they're not that um, that expensive so how about we just put in one of these bad boys and we did that's literally what we have um, I don't think we can see other ships I honestly I'm still figuring out this game as we speak so I don't think we uh, we can we can see other ships or anything, uh, but I think this is what we have, and this is the improvements we can put on. Uh, we just improved our ship, so maybe now we can do that thing. Now, as you can see, there are some improvements in the, in the game. You can change your ship. I know you can buy another ship as well, like a bigger one. Um, and uh, there's going to be a lot of different extra things that they'll put in the game, uh, which is actually it sounds really 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 cool I'll name them after uh, when we're done doing our last uh, our last delivery now so the heavier the load is you put on your ship uh, the more you'll get paid so uh, yeah the idea is to just uh, invest in a very big and heavy ship so you can carry more loads although this goes way faster so honestly uh, I don't know what would earn more right now because this goes way fast but I mean if you can do this just as fast with the more heavier stuff that would obviously be a better choice all right let's try to land this thing oh my god look at this BAM that's a fucking perfect landing let's be honest right 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 or not we should drive a little forward oh, I almost got a perfect landing it's okay all right, let's sell this thing now. Now we have some more money, and we could use this one. 
So yeah, guys, this is this game basically. It's a it's a very 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 fun. Uh, your truck simulator game meets really dangerous. That's really what it is. Uh, except it's not a space. It's on a it's on a planet. Now that only makes it more interesting, I think, uh, because you have all these things that you have to take into account, like weather. You know these fucking geysers that almost fucked me up. You know you got the smoke from the volcanoes. I, I bet they will sometimes burst up. You have like storms. You have all these things, uh, all these interesting things, and uh, yeah, it it makes it a very interesting game. I feel. Um, now for the things that will be coming in the future in this game, I have a little list. Uh, the stuff that uh, will be coming soon is a cockpit, obviously, so you can look from the inside. Uh, ships traffic, so more ships flying around. They'll make it really interesting. Uh, Fraction-based economy, so yeah, an economy basically. Uh, more locations and a workshop. That's what they basically now have in store for us. So yeah, that's some of the stuff that you can do in the future, and obviously they will be uh, bringing this game more to life. This is only the alpha version, and uh, yeah, this game will be built as it goes. Uh, it's on Greenlight, like early access right now on Steam, so you guys can check it out in my link. And the thanks for Razor Games SRO, thanks for uh, letting me try this game out. It's a lot of fun, and uh, yeah, that's me. Uh, thank you guys for watching, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers!